We have bad news and good news. <laughs> yeah, but let's start with the bad one first, so the good is better. The apartment we are living in is going to be rented in four days. That means we're going to be kicked out of the place we are currently living. But that also means that we are moving in full time in Oden. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's really exciting. <laughs> I mean, it's good. It's like a push, you know, like <laughs> go live on the boat. But yeah. that also means that we need to get some things ready because we are probably going to move in five people to the boat. Yeah. Five? Yeah. With me, Roberta. Fred, Jew, that's Fred's wife, plus one more person that you're gonna meet sometime on this episode, but wait for that, that's another story. But we are gonna be five living in this boat, so we need to get things ready for this. And the first thing we're gonna get ready, that's what we're gonna show you today, is the bathroom, the head, because we need a toilet. Life's much easier if you have a head on the boat. Yeah. So today is the dirty job. Of install. Not dirty because it's a brand new head. It's not <laughs> it's dirty not yet. Not dirty at all. It's the cleanest head you ever seen. Because after this time, it's not going to be clean anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> but at least now it's clean. So enjoy. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And for the past year, we have been building our own tiny shipping container house, so we can travel around knowing that we will always have this little place that we can call home. But guess what? We just found our dream project before we expected. This abandoned sailboat. So we are going to stop building the house for a couple months to bring our boat back to life. And then we're going to go back and finish the house. Just this? like a rock. It's a rock. <laughs> a rock that looks like a hose. Yeah, this is the old vent that used to go there and die. And now we are gonna have this valve. So the inlet of the toilet comes through here and goes to the toilet. And this just let the air in but not out. That's an admission valve. So that's the valve. So that means that if you blow this way, air going. This way, no air going. Good. And how about the smelly one? Ooh. That's the outlet for the... This used to be the outlet for the toilet. This kind of hose just smells really bad really quick. Yeah. And we found this one. That's odorless. Made with butyl and they say that we can stay like six years yeah. with no smell, right? Six years smell free. That's what they say. We are willing to try because, you know, like the really bad boat head smell. Good. This is not cheap, but it's something that we are willing to pay a little bit more to have. Not cheap at all. That was like really expensive. Yeah. It's coming. I can help you. Yeah. Now we can close this. So how do you have a vent that's just open to the inside of the furniture? Not good. Not good. <laughs> Straight to the street. Next one. Yeah. <laughs> and be careful not to hit someone down there. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this holes for? This is the uh, toilet inlet. That's the water coming in the toilet. From the ocean. From the ocean. So this should be somewhere around here. With you the sun is shining 24-7 Cause when we're together It feels like we're in heaven If it will get dark You'll be my million stars I know I can lean on you Okay, 
getting closer. Yay! <laughs> I think it's gonna work out. I'm pretty confident. Okay. Let's do this. This is the tricky one. I mean, everything is tricky. <laughs> you always say. That's something. That's something. The weird thing, this pump was upside down. <laughs> I mean, half of the job, now we need to install it back. But it's something, it's something. But it was really dry and hard. Yeah. Now, you're gonna replace almost the entire pump. Yeah, that's the kit. All the rubber parts of the, the valves and everything is gonna be brand new. So the pump's gonna be old, but the valves are gonna be brand new. This one's so old. What's this? Wait and see. Really well, actually. It's, it's a mess here. Man. <laughs> this must be and smell. Nah, thanks. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> we did it. We are changing this system. It's not, not gonna be like this anymore. We are gonna use an a valve. A true van, a extra <laughs> van. That's yours. Thank you. Gift Christmas earlier. No, we didn't. This one off. And now... One more for you. Danke! <laughs> so the way it's gonna work, the water comes from the ocean to flush the toilet through this hole and the valve that's behind the wall, the bulkhead, and straight to the pump. And from the pump, usually goes straight to the toilet, but the manual of this manufacturer, Jabsco, says that it's better to have a vent in between the pump and the toilet. So we are gonna, these holes is gonna go straight to this hole. This vent is gonna be all the way on the top. That's gonna be a siphon, and then come back. 
behind the this bulkhead and from here to here. You're gonna see when it's ready. It's gonna make sense. So this is the job for today? For right now. Funny the image with a lot of holes around you. Now all we need to do is to unhook this. This, by the way, is just the shower that to clean the wad hot water tank, we just run water a lot and so we can just pump the water off the boat. We just connect it straight to the valve and then when we, whenever we want to you no know, release some water, it goes here. But soon we're gonna go to the water, so we need to take this off and connect this to this. I think it should be now, right? Yeah. Let's do it. That's it. Now all we need to do is to install the toilet. I mean, we nope. have all the holes ready, right? Yeah, the holes are ready, but we need to have yeah. a... That's a one hole. less, yeah, that's one less tricky thing. Of course, there is always a tricky thing. We replace the toilet with a brand, a different brand than we used to, we used to have, because the brand we used to have, we never saw it for sale in Brazil, that's uh, Haritan. We did, we never seen Haritan for sale in Brazil. So we bought a Japsco one. In the Japsco one, the holes are different in different spots, so we need to create new holes. And also, this bottle has an angle. I don't know if you can tell, but there is an angle on this bottle, so the water goes to the bilge. So we need to have like a piece of wood, a trim, underneath the toilet to have the right angle of the toilet. So we need to build this trim, and then we need to create the holes. But that's not today. At least the holes are ready, and we can go to the water like that. I I think. It's we have valves on both outlet and inlet, so we just shut off the valves and we have a siphon, so it's, we're gonna be fine. And then we can do that on the water, otherwise yeah. we won't go to the water next week that we want to go. Yeah. That's good. We are gonna replace this one. <laughs> I can't even do like this. For this one. Wink, 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 wink. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> now you can give it to him and I'll hold here. He's gonna put there and I'll hold this side. Can I? Yeah. yeah. Did you find it? Not yet. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. I think it's good. It was a lot easier than we thought. Yeah. We this was a drama for us for a long time. <laughs> yeah. And we still need to take this one off there. We have we have no idea for what it is. It ends up there. Why do we have this? I think it used to be it's the like drain for this cabinet.
So this is the angle. This is the angle. Basically, we need to have the toilet with a base with this angle, otherwise the toilet's gonna be what? facing forward. That's not gonna be comfortable it's at all. If we are leaning to one side. <laughs> oh yeah, if you're healing, <laughs> that would be help. Yeah, but no. Yeah, the reason why we have this angle is because the water needs to drain to the bilge, and if it's straight, water gets stuck. So in this way, we can guarantee that the water will come here. So we need to raise a little bit the toilet and get... Yeah, it's gonna make sense in the end, but we're really close because right now we are floating, but we don't have toilet and this it's not the same thing. Yeah. yeah, we need to walk all the way to the marina and use the toilet with everyone. So if I we can manage... I don't need to go. I have a... <laughs> bucket. <laughs> a bucket to pee, actually. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be much more comfortable when we connect this hose and we have an actual toilet. Isn't it gonna be? Yeah. Everything's gonna be good now. <laughs> I'm positive. I'm a positive guy. I think we finally did it. Yeah, that's so cool. After two hours, we did it. <laughs> yeah. The hardest thing is that we cannot make sh to make sure we are in level. We cannot just use a bubble level because we're in a boat and the boat moves and right now the boat's not sitting flat on the water it's like leaning a little bit towards the port side so that means because if we put a bubble all the weight are on that side yeah the weight's not distributed properly yet so i mean like the only way we could found to do that is by having a laser like <laughs> projecting the height on one side and on the other side and then we measure from the light to this part because we know this part is straight because this is the support for the bulkhead and this support is straight and now that we got the same measurements in both sides we are good to go now, now we it's gonna start epoxy time the dirt job now <laughs> yeah. So now that these ones are done, we skip, we skip, skip, we skip a few steps. We didn't show us installing the nuts in place, but all we did was to put the nut in place and to fill around with epoxy filler just to hold in place. So now we have a hole where the screw can pass through freely. See, and then hits the nut, and that's how we're gonna hold the toilet in place.
Who is that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Before we finish this, there is one more story we need to tell because there is a weird guy, a different guy here that we need to explain <laughs> who he is, right? <laughs> so let's go back in time a little bit, like, I think it was a month ago, right? Uh, almost. almost. Yeah, like a month and a half ago. And then we come back to this. So we need to know him. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? different thing we're gonna do something really different today <laughs> what are we gonna do today we are gonna call a friend and ask him if he want he wants to come to spend some time with us yeah it's been a long time we are thinking about a friend that i met on my first working day in australia when i used to deliver food by bicycle he's also brazilian but he was living in australia until like not too long ago like no. until the pandemic when the pandemic when the pandemic happened he came back to brazil he was about to start a World trip, yeah, like a worldwide trip, yeah, like a backpacking <laughs> trip for like maybe a year or so, going to so many countries, and then his plans just went kaboof, done. He was in Japan when it happened. Yeah, and yesterday he sent us a message saying if he could stop by one day, just come to visit. And we are thinking we don't want him to visit us; we want to, him to stay with us. Yeah, he <laughs> have no idea. We are gonna invite him to stay at least for a month, maybe two months with us. So I'm gonna give him a call now and let him know that he cannot come to stay two days. <laughs> cannot. It's been four years I don't talk to him uh, personally. Let's see. It's video really call. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> we need we, we need to speak English. We need to speak English, man. Someone is recording. Sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how's how's life how's life going? Uh, it's going yeah well. Yeah. It's going well. We're in the middle of this pandemic. Yeah. So yeah, it sucks. Yeah, for us it's always the same thing. But no we mind. just we just wanted to call you to let you know that due to pandemic we are not receiving people for two days here to visit us. Sorry man. Okay. <laughs> but okay. but but we have a different plan. We yeah. Let's see, uh, how do I explain it? <laughs> for a long time, for a long time, we've been yeah. thinking that we don't want people to visit us to stay one day. We want yeah. people to visit and stay longer. One month, two months, three months, I don't know, whatever. And since we started thinking about that, you're the first guy that we thought about joining the, the crew with us, for real. Yeah, so basically we have the idea that if someone comes, it's it's not just a guess. You need to be part of everything. You need to work with us. Yeah. It might need to film with us. It need to be okay with being on camera, and me, maybe even try to edit some videos with us. Yeah. But definitely. that's but no, it's not anyone that are able to do that. They are willing to you know like stay like one month or two months doing just that because yeah. that's all we do. Like we don't do anything else. That's all we do. So I don't know. If you're up to, we have a few rules to follow. <laughs> but other than that, you, you would be our first big guest. And actually, the COVID I'm test. Curious about, I'm curious about the rules. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Duca, duca. I talk too much, of course. And when we realized the camera was dead because we ran out of batteries and we didn't record the full conversation with Victor. Well, to cut the story short, you guys know Victor made too odd and he's going to stay with us for a while. We don't know how long. But you're gonna have enough time to meet him properly during the next few episodes. And that's it. I think we can go back to the episode, right? Yeah, back to the episode. It's almost the final step. Almost. Who's gonna test this first today? Me. Oh, it's you. <laughs> but we need to connect these holes. It's quick. This is gonna be really quick. Now is the best step. We need to collect the holes. But first, let's see. Let's see and see. It's cold. Shotgun. Shotgun. Oh, no. <laughs> That's house rules. Shotgun wins. It's pretty good, actually. Huh? Look. Good size. Good size. Yeah, but let's let's collect the holes first, and then you try.
You know what that means? We have a toilet now. Now we need to, I don't know, <laughs> create some courage and <laughs> try this thing because yes. this is just theoretical until now. The reality is when you actually try. Is it working? Supposedly. <laughs> can I try? Yeah, we can. Yeah. At one point we need to do it, right? Is there open? Yeah, we need to open this one. Should I do it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. We have one last chance to keep the, it like that. Because it's just pretty. We can just keep like that. We don't need to try, right? That's the first time. That's scary. It's okay, yeah. No? No. Oh, this water is really dirty. Yeah, the water here in the marine is not that clean, you can tell. <laughs> they have Terrible. a lot of things, that's from the water. Some bugs, what is that? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. time to... Uh, let me try it for the first time. Excuse me guys, you close the door, I need to pee. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. I'm gonna be the first one. See you soon. <laughs> Are you clean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I don't see any leaks. <laughs> and I feel much better. I needed to pee. That's this noise. It's the valve up there. Ooh, it must be. It wasn't open. Leak. Ooh, le here's a little bit of a leak. One leak with pee. Hmm. Resting? Yeah, the seat is really comfortable, actually. <laughs> yeah, we finally found the solution. I mean, no, we found the problem, not the solution yet. <laughs> it's something, at least we know what's wrong. Come here. We have two siphons and two valves, right? This one is for the entry of the water. So that's the inlet, water inlet and water outlet. The inlet comes from the ocean to the pump and from the pump comes up pass through this valve and goes down into the back of the toilet. The outlet comes from the toilet up through the valve and to the ocean. This valve is working properly, this valve is not working properly. The problem is the valve itself, the rubber, somehow I think it's not, it's, there's like a cut or something on the rubber and it's not sealing because it's supposed, this is supposed to let air inside of the hose, but not air out. And this is letting air in and also air out. That means when you pump, it's letting a little bit of water out and that's just no good. So now we need to replace this valve. Good news, we know what's the problem. Bad news, we never found one to, for sale in Brazil. So we're still looking for a valve to replace, but the temporary solution is that we close the valve. We just put a screw with rubber and we just shut off the valve. That means that the toilet is working. We can use the toilet. Yay! <laughs> What's a great news. <laughs> but we just, as a guarantee, we always shut off the valves. In this way, the, because the, the reason why we have this is because you, w once you're pumping, there's a water flow inside of here. And when we stop pumping, it might start flowing backwards and keep bringing water from the ocean until it floods the boat. And that's not good, right? So what we do now temporarily is not the, it's not how it's supposed to be, but we always pump all the water off to make sure that this hose is empty. And then just as a guarantee, we shut both valves, this one and the other one in the other side of the bulkhead. In this way, yeah, in this way it works properly, it's fine, we can use the toilet, we've been using for a week already, and that's really, really good. But, somehow we need to find a valve to substitute and to have it properly installed. How about the other toilet? Is uh, that right? The other one, we didn't install the electric wires yet, we still need to buy them, it's not that easy to find. Yeah, so all we need to do for the other one is to find the wire, but for now, having one working toilet is great. <laughs> and this episode is way too long for us to wait for the wires and we can keep this for our next episode, right? Yeah. Yeah. Duca, stop rumbling and let's welcome on board. 
our new patrons for this week. <laughs> so, welcome on board. Sverri. Steve. Jimmy. Xavier. Edward. Leila. Alfredo. Fabrizio. TJ. Michael. Omar. Minerva B. Windsurf. Gary. Osmeister. Virgil. And we also want to thank all the donations through our PayPal. Thanks so much, James. Ian. RVPM Designs. Alan. Gwendolyn. John. Jim. Tito. Simon. Philip. Bruce. Michael. RMG. Half. And a special thanks to the Renegade Show. Guys, thanks so, so much. We really, really appreciate your support. And, and see you guys, guys next, next Monday. Week. See you guys next Monday. See you.